Ezekiel Elliott has decided to hold out. He wants a contract extension from the Cowboys. He wants Todd Gurley money. And he deserves that money. He deserves Todd Gurley money. In fact, he deserves more than what Todd Gurley got paid. Ezekiel Elliott has outplayed his contract. When a player overproduces, he should be paid for it. I believe he's making $13 million this season. No, oh, excuse me, let me take that back. He, he has $13 million left on his deal. He wants more money. He deserves it. The Cowboys have got to pay him. He has rushed, what, 1,400 yards. He has averaged, what, about five yards a carry last season. He is the main reason why the Cowboys are so successful. If he doesn't play this season, the Cowboys are in jeopardy of missing the playoffs. They've got to pay Zeke. Show Zeke the money. Right now, Zeke is in Cabo. He's in Cabo. He's training over there apparently. So he still is willing to come back to the Cowboys, but it has to be at the right price. If I were the Cowboys, I would pay him Todd Gurley money, $14 million a year. Like I said, I believe he has two years left on his deal. He's gonna make $13 million. That's what I'm hearing. That's not enough money. Someone of Ezekiel Elliott's caliber should be making at least $14 million a year. That's reasonable. And the Cowboys need to pony up that money and they've got to pay him. If he sits out the whole season, they are in jeopardy of not making it to the playoffs. This team is prime and ready to make a playoff run and a Super Bowl run. They are legitimate contenders for the Super Bowl. They've got all the requisite skills. They've got the quarterback, Dak Prescott. They've got Amari Cooper, a wide receiver. Jason Witten came back. He's a great blocker. He can also catch the ball for them too. So he's great in the intermediate areas. Now he cannot stretch the defense, but like I said, his hands are great and he's an excellent blocker. They've got that great offensive line. They've got a really good defense. They've got all the pieces in place. They're just missing Ezekiel Elliott. They've got to pay him. Jerry Jones has got to pony up that money He's got to reach deep, 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 deep in his pockets and pay Ezekiel Elliott. And he's got to pay him now. If he doesn't pay him, this is going to hurt their season. This is my thing too. Hopefully they'll pay him. I think that's the right thing to do. It, but if they decide not to pay him, they've got to trade him. I think it's come to that. Because I don't see Ezekiel Elliott caving in. I think he's going to pull a Le'Veon Bell and set out the entire season. I really see that happening. He knows how valuable he is to the Cowboys. He knows his value. He knows what he has brought to the team. Last season, he rushed for what, 1,400 yards, averaged about five yards a carry. So he's been producing. When a player produces, he should be rewarded for that. So he should be paid. Now we know that when players underproduce, they're asked to take a pay cut often, or they're just released from the team. So we are aware of this. So when a player overproduces, he should be paid. When he underproduces, the team has every right to waive or cut him or release him. Ezekiel Elliott should be paid. He should get his money. And I know he's had issues off the field. I understand that. But his production is so great for that team. You just gotta pay him. You gotta pay him and hope that he makes good choices. So we'll just have to wait and see what the Cowboys do. And hopefully they'll do the right thing and pay him. If not, he's probably gonna set out and it, it, will, it will hurt their season. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. 
please do me a big favor and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that you have a blessed, wonderful day.